Time to welcome a guest. Who we got today, Poppy? UFC fighter Chael Sonnen. This guy's a lunatic. He's a crazy person. He's controversial. He's colorful. He's fun. He wants to fight Anderson Silva for his belt, but first he has to get by Michael Bisping Saturday, UFC Fox 2. Let's talk to this crazy person. When was the last time you were scared before combat? Oh, uh, to, to describe the actual emotion, uh, you know, prior to going into a situation like that is pretty hard. I can't really put my finger on it. I think it's an emotion that's probably unique to itself. Uh, it, it's part of what, you know, you overcome. It's part of what you learn and uh, look forward to enjoying. You know, it's one of my favorite parts about it. Uh, you know, when I jump out of that airplane, I don't want to be positive that chute's going to open. <laughs> you don't? You don't? I don't. <laughs> what do you mean you don't? Well, if you can't understand it, you can't sit in my shoes, brother. A lot of guys can be fighters, but only one can be champion. And maybe maybe I'm wired a little bit differently, but that's the way it goes. <laughs> well, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Silva the champ? Yeah, I will correct you. You are wrong. <laughs> but that's not your belt. <laughs> Well, whose do you propose it is? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Where'd you get it? Where'd you get it? What do you think? I just woke up and went and took it from him? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. Of course it's the belt. It says it right on there. You don't think the belt would lie, do you? It says UFC middleweight champion on there. I say the name Anderson Silva. First thing that comes to mind is what? Uh, fraud. Phony. Third thing that comes to mind. Paint your face up like Mike Tyson, gain 100 pounds, sit in the second row, and talk about when you meant something to the world because your time has passed. Welcome to 2000 and Chael. <laughs> Chael, you tapped. I saw you tap. I couldn't believe that I saw you tap because you were crushing him for four rounds, but you tapped. I saw it. Well, it, it seems to be a, a, a misunderstanding and a misapplication of the rule process. I thought like if somebody had you in a tight hold, you could just like rub his leg a couple times and your tag team partner, you know, would step in there and help out a little bit. And then they bring me to and they try to explain the rules. And there was like some kind of confusion and he ended up getting his hand raised in an extremely tainted victory. But as I said, the real champion sits before you today, undefeated and undisputed. <laughs> it's it. You're not undefeated and it's not undisputed. Who would be who would be your tag team partner in WWF? Old school style. If you needed to pick a partner, who you picking? So, how's everything with you today? How is your day going? Are you doing all right out there? <laughs> I'm doing You're out great. there in like New Mexico or or Montana or something like that? Some some My godless part of the country. Where where are you guys located? Miami. It's not godless. Where are right. you? That's right. Going We're, to Miami. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's a good song. Good for you, man. You made it on the radio. <laughs> what is the greatest obstacle that you've ever had to overcome? The greatest obstacle that you had to overcome in your childhood? Oh, the greatest obstacle? You know, I, uh, I, I can't really think of any, man. I grew up on the other side of the tracks. I had a pretty good life. I had a great family. Uh, good support system all around. Um, I was pretty lucky in that regard. How'd you get like this? Well, I can't, I, man, I'm from the mean streets of Westland, Oregon. You got to look over your back. You don't know what it's like out there. I'll tell you about it someday, but it's rough. I just imagine it being a lot of ducks. A lot of ducks? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Is this where I laughed? Was that your attempted humor? I'm sorry. I would have played a lot. I didn't know that. Was that supposed to? Ah, ha, 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 ducks. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Well, are you going to give me, are you going to tell me what it is that you grew up around or not? No. <laughs> Another time. I mean, I don't, want, I don't want to keep it from you, but, I, you know, you're, you're digging up old things. You know, the, the answer for right now is no. What do you think of Steven Seagal being in Anderson Silva's camp? Well, you know, I don't know what he pays for that. You know, that's a paid position that Seagal put some money down for, and I'm sure he's got an end game somewhere. Uh, you know, and so good for him. I don't know what it is. I, I don't really care. He wrote those guys a check, and, uh, you know, they, they've got an obligation to, to say certain things about him in the media. So 
uh, <laughs> you know, good for Steven. Maybe he gets some extra work. I don't know. I don't know that that's entirely true. You're saying that Steven Seagal is paying to be a part of that posse? What is this? Like, I say something, then you repeat it to make sure you heard it. This whole thing's being videotaped. If you need to go back and rewatch it on your own time, do it. But for now, for the sake of the viewers, they get the world's smartest man for roughly 100 more seconds. Give them, give them some new topics. But I don't... Th- I don't think what you're saying is true, Chael. I don't 96 <laughs> seconds and counting. <laughs> All right, my father's got a question for you, although I do. Finally, I, I, I was hoping to talk to your old man. Finally, some sensibility in this interview. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put an extra couple seconds on the clock because I happen to respect your old man. <laughs> no, I don't want you to do that. I, I thought you didn't use the word respect. I thought that's yeah, well, not I do when it comes. Well, I do when it comes to your pops because he deserves it. That's a good man right there. Let's hear from him. <laughs> Poppy, go ahead. What's your question for Chael? Do you have a romantic side? Do, uh, yeah, I'd like to think so. Absolutely. <laughs> what follow, is it? Follow up, Gonzo. Follow up. I mean, I mean, you know, I, I do my level best. I'm, I, I'm, I'm not exactly, you know, Casanova or Don Juan or something like that. I do my level best. I'm from the mean streets of West Lynn, but I'm a one-woman man. You know, I don't need a whole bunch of women. I don't float around. I got myself a very nice young lady. I'm going to keep a hold of her. How do you keep her happy? Where do you take her? Where, you know, what kind of gift do you give her? Well, uh, you know, I... I wouldn't be interested in a girl where I had to take her and give her things to keep her happy. That's not, that's not my kind of a lady right there. Uh, I'm not looking for a hired hand. I'm looking for a partner and somebody to go through life with. So, uh, you know, th- that's not my style. If, if Christmas or her birthday rolls around, I'm sure she'll have some nice packages under the tree. But uh, I'm not buying friendship if that's what you're proposing. How, uh, how does she tolerate you? <laughs> You can't be easy to live with. You can't be. <laughs> 23 <laughs> seconds. No, get out of here. Go on. Get out of here. Take you and your fake belt. Get out of here. Gracias. Gracias. Thank you, Chael. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate the time.